What up guys? Today we're going to be replacing this faulty 1 terabyte drive. We're going to be putting in a 480 SSD. Um, this is a rather complex process as it's not like PlayStation where you have to format. You can just put the PUP file. Xbox have done some other write restrictions etc. Um, let's get into it. Yeah, so here's the replacement hard drive uh, for the Xbox. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to... Um, it's not like PlayStation where you just create a PUP file. We need to partition this according to place, uh, Xbox's uh, file structure. Um, links in the description will be provided for the following scripts. All of these scripts will be provided. Um, the, key, the key over here is that we need to run the script. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up PowerShell. Guys, always open this in PowerShell. What we need to do is we need to open this in administrator. Has to run as administrator as this will give you issues. Okay. So we now need to go to the file structure that the folder is in. Let's open. Let's do this. CD. Dot, let's go back, CD, dot, dot, then now we're going to go to users, uh, we're going to CD to users, CD users, okay, once you're in users, you must then CD to your username. Ours is just user. Okay, then we need to CD to where the folder the file is, which is our desktop. Which you can always just tab in. Then we're gonna go to the folder which I did create, which is called Xbox Software. So we need to CD. We will CD to Xbox Software. In Xbox software, we will need to run, we'll, I've already extracted this file, we'll need, to re we'll need to run and extract this file. Then we'll go into, due to the fact that it's Windows, we need to go into Windows, obviously. So what we need to do is let CD into our file which is xbox okay guys so we need to obviously go into the folder this xbox one hard drive master so what we need to do is cd let's go here we need to cd to x Xbox One Master, and then we're gonna hit enter. Yeah, then we're gonna hit enter. Once we're in that, we're going to go to Windows. We're gonna CD. We're gonna open. We're gonna say CD Win. Once we're in Windows, we can then now run the create. We can create the PowerShell script over here. If you prefer using cmd the, the script is there for that so we're going to create xbox one drive so we're going to say create and we're going to tab create xbox one dot bat or we can say psu ps but now we, we want ps1 for the powershell as you can see it is now opening up powershell and it gives us an option um, we just need to say continue on this on this option it gives us a to h please read carefully if you're replacing your hard drive you need to use a if you want to upgrade let's say from a one terabyte to a two terabyte you're going to use b and so forth and go and follow the standard in this situation we only going to use a because we're replacing the drive 
As you can see, there are two drives, a Seagate and a normal. We just need to say one. Do you want to erase this disk? Yes. Our drive is a one. Is a two terabyte? No, look, it is a one terabyte. So we need to select B. You can in the background is busy doing something. And it is correctly partitioned the drive. To confirm that this is correctly partitioned in the correct way that Microsoft intend, we need to go over to our disk utility, disk management, sorry. And confirm that the drive, that new basic drive, which is this drive, <coughs> has the correct file partitions. As you can see, it looks perfect. We can now proceed to the next step. Yeah, so we've verified that this matches this. The view partitions. At this point, if you notice some issue, I would highly recommend that you run the script again, that it will make all of these. Obviously, this is a blank drive and we select the correct content. At this point, um, you can now eject the drive. You come down here and you just, you're going to say eject USB. It'll safely eject, as you can see. Um, this video, guys, is only if you're looking for a repair on if the hard drive has become faulty and corrupt or the drive has failed and this is the correct way to do it now what we need to do guys is we need to create our osu1 file that can be downloaded from microsoft directly i've already downloaded the file link in the description for the osu1 file will be there we need to plug in a flash drive Once the flash drive is plugged in, we can now uh, format the flash drive. Uh, I'm just going to say format. Uh, just name it. OSU1. Guys, the default flash drive, the default settings is normally FAT32. This flash drive on, on uh, Xbox won't read. So we have to have to format it as. Uh, NTFS uh, one and we're gonna say start. We want to format the flash drive. We do. Okay. Now we go over to our OSU one file. OSU1 and we need to extract the files we're gonna select our flash drive and we're gonna let it extract Just in the background it's gonna take a little bit of time let it extract we'll be back once it's extracted as the file is extracted and leave the file as is in the root directory with all the settings etc 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 um let's plug in the playstation the uh, xbox and then
We're done. Um, that is how you would successfully install the operating system and replace the drive. Thanks so much for watching. See you, see you in the next one. Peace.